Hi there. My name is Dan, and I'm a U.S. Customs and Border Protection Officer. Soon you'll be landing, so let me be the first to say, welcome to the United States. And to those of you who live here, welcome home. The primary mission of CBP is to keep you safe and to secure our country's borders from threats. One way we do that is by using innovative new technology to help simplify processing international travelers through CBP. How are you today? Oh, very good. Depending on your citizenship, there are a few types of self-service kiosks you may be able to use when you arrive at the airport, and even a mobile app that I'd like to walk you through. When you reach the International Arrivals Terminal, you will see signs for two types of self-service kiosks. The first is Automated Passport Control, and the other, Global Entry. At first glance, the kiosks might look similar, but they have some important differences. First, let's talk about Automated Passport Control, or APC. APC kiosks do not require any pre-registration or background screening, and there is no fee to use the kiosks. All you have to do is scan your passport and follow the prompts on the touchscreen. United States citizens, Canadian citizens, and international visitors traveling on a B-1 or B-2 visa are eligible to use the APC kiosks. Foreign visitors can also use APC if they have previously been admitted to the U.S. under the Visa Waiver Program with a valid ESTA and who have visited the U.S. at least once since 2008. You can also use APC kiosks as an individual traveler or as a family unit if members of your group all reside at the same address. And remember, thanks to APC, you don't need to fill out a customs declaration on the plane. You'll do that right there at the kiosk. Now, all you have to do is hand your printed receipt and passport to a friendly CBP officer as part of the inspection and interview process. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you. Next, let's talk about the Global Entry Kiosk and some of the benefits, including TSA PreCheck. Like APC users, Global Entry members also use self-service kiosks, but they must undergo a background screening and interview and pay a one-time $100 fee. There are two primary benefits of membership. First, unlike APC kiosk users, GE members typically do not have to present themselves for inspection to a CBP officer. And secondly, Global Entry members enjoy TSA PreCheck benefits. That's right, Dan. TSA PreCheck includes expedited security at checkpoints nationwide, including domestic flights. These are some serious perks that will save you time, whether you're a frequent international or domestic traveler. To apply for Global Entry, visit globalentry.gov. You'll need to set up an online account and go through an interview process at an enrollment center. CBP is also proud to be part of the first ever mobile passport control app allowing eligible U.S. citizens and Canadian visitors to submit their passport information and customs declaration form prior to inspection. It can be done via a smartphone or tablet just after your aircraft lands in the United States. The app is free to download and use and does not require pre-approval or collect any new information from travelers. Users will experience shorter wait times, less congestion, and faster processing. You can download the app from the App Store and learn more about the five simple steps for using it by visiting cbp.gov travel. At CBP and TSA, we're improving to keep you moving. On behalf of the dedicated officers nationwide, we hope you have a pleasant trip and enjoy your time in the United States.